this, is this on? Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Oh my god! Alright, so I don't know anything that's about to happen. I don't know what's up there, and I don't even know what's out there. It's very bright up here. So, uh, well. Let's go. Oh, that's easy. My name is Chris. Thank you. Now, I'm going to come out here in the audience because I don't know what's coming up either. And I'm damn glad to see everybody out tonight. What? Now you'll see I'm in my studio there with my beautiful Gibson guitar. You know why? Because I make things. I create. I create a lot of, I create a lot of loving from the ladies. As this picture would suggest, seventh grade Chris McAdoo did not know he would be where he is today, but he is. Now I'm gonna ask you guys, wait, look at this guy, look at those Reebok pumps, they belong to my cousin. Oh, Des that's the slide you picked? Okay, so this is from, as Matthew said, I, I did, I've done several of these presentations and one of them I did with my beautiful wife, Robin. Hey, Robin! She's up there with my wonderful daughter, Harper and Carter. I am currently missing, this is, I'm, I'm the Desi to her Lucy. Oh, what do you want to do with $25,000 in student loans and a degree in painting? How many of you have that question? Right? A degree in painting. I'll tell you what I did with $25,000 in student loans and a degree in painting. I sold $25,000 worth of paintings. Now, the question I'm going to ask everybody at the end of this, that's a blank canvas. So I want you guys to be thinking about this. I want you to think about what is your blank canvas. What do you look at? What's that blank sheet of paper? What's that thing in the morning? What's that undone engine that keeps you up at night? Inspiration keeps me up at night. Scrooge McDuck, which as we all know, told us, he who has the gold, make, that was weak, he who has the gold, that's slightly better, but what it is, oh, now I'm on to the next letter press. I've been lucky. I have been so lucky in my life to be a painter. I've been a printmaker. That's my press on the 100 block of Gay Street. 2003, when it was still murdery, right? And I'm able to make press. That lives at UT now. So if you're a UT girl, oh, it's Johnny Cash. Speaking of that press, I carved that Johnny Cash from a photo that I took of Johnny Cash's last public performance at Hilton's Virginia at the Carter Family Fold. That, thank you, yes. Johnny Cash himself, ah, oh, is wonderful. Flaco Jimenez? Okay, this, I did not expect this, but uh, Flaco Jimenez is a guy, and he's a Texarkana uh, 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 player, if you have seen, uh, he's, he played with the Rolling Stones. Swear to God, I talked to him on the phone one time and he asked if I would uh, uh, sell him beer. So, and this, oh, the People in Places series. Like I told you guys, like I've been super fortunate, okay? Like, it don't come by talent, it comes by hard work. These are, these are five of the prints that ended up in Ruby Tuesday restaurants all over the world. Swear to God. There's like 10,000 of these things. Oh my God, Bruce Pearl? No! I will take issue with this. I will take issue with this. Uh, I liked the energy. Back in the day, I liked the energy that he brought, but now I don't care because he's at Auburn. Oh, look at, there we go, we're back to art. This is a painting, it's 10 foot wide, uh, that I did in one day, that now lives in a big, house somewhere in Montana, which is like so cool, right? Like you make something. Of any of you guys that create and then make things, like how cool is it when somebody actually sees that thing? If it's a painting, if it's a photograph, if it's a print, if it, it doesn't matter how much do you love it when somebody's like, man, that's not bad, <laughs> right? Like, I'd like one of those. <laughs> so. I started off with the vessels. I love vessels. That's Patsy. 
I like to think of art. That's a big painting. It looks bigger and smaller. But like, I think about art in a way that can be defined not just by me, but by you. And by you, and by you. I want to put that on the wall, and I want you to feel something. Okay? I want you to see the things that I paint, the things that I make, and I want you, I want you to feel those things. I want your story to come through. Everything that I do, that's like, because I'm just like, I want to tell my story. Like, that's lame. But sometimes you get to tell fun stories. Oh, I got to build a company. I got to build a company, a design company called Best Behavior Creative Club that was sold uh, last year, which was cool. And that's like another cool thing, design sensory peeps out there. That there were some tiny, uh, tiny horses. I'm just not even going to explain that. So, so again, again we return to the work. Thank you for making this the next slide because raise your hand. How many of y'all out there are makers? Makers, who makes, who writes, who creates, who has their own business? More hands. Come on. There we go. It's about the work. Put in the work. You want to be a professional photographer? Take some photos. You want to be a writer? Write a book. You want to be a painter? Paint. All, all history has been littered and shouldas and wouldas and if only I was coulda beens but I'll tell you everybody in this room you get up in the morning and you decide man that's a nice sunset I'd like to paint it paint it <sighs> take yourself seriously in many ways I would say there's a difference between being a, there's a difference between being an artist when you're 20 and you're 40 with two bum knees and kids going to college, right? So you gotta take it seriously, learn to count. Now, I'm, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I'm cheating here because I'm gonna go another 20 seconds, but I asked in the beginning, what is your blank canvas? That's your message for tonight. Find your blank canvas and paint the